Molded pulp isn't exactly a household word, but it is a household item. Chances are you've got an egg carton in your fridge that's made of it. This thick cardboard-like material can be shaped into a variety of containers, such as those drink carriers they give you at the fast food restaurants. Farms ship out their eggs in trays called filler flats. These flats begin as recycled paper. Old phone books, newspapers, magazines, cardboard, pretty well any product made of paper fibers. The factory even recycles its own flats that have been rejected by quality control. The raw materials go into what's called the pulper, a giant blender that mashes everything up and blends it with hot water that's 43 to 65 degrees Celsius. The hot water swells the fibers, causing them to break apart. After 20 minutes, they become pulp, a watery mixture roughly the consistency of hot oatmeal. The pulp exits out the bottom of the pulper through a filter that screens out plastics and other contaminants. Shaping the flats is a fully automated process. Formation molds descend into a vat filled with pulp. A vacuum sucks the mushy mixture onto them. Water jets rinse off the excess. Rotating above are transfer molds. They grab the flats off the formation molds and move them onto a conveyor. Before the transfer molds grab the flats, though, a brush applies a water-based lubricant. This ensures the flats won't stick to the molds. It's just like greasing a baking pan. The molds themselves are made of bronze, plastic or aluminum, depending on how long the factory intends to use them. They're covered with a stainless steel mesh. This mesh ensures an even vacuum through the mold so that the pulp spreads over it evenly. The soggy flats now go into an oven for 12 minutes to dry out. The 205 degrees Celsius heat evaporates the water. This bonds the fibers together, forming a rigid material. After they exit the oven, a device appropriately called an upender flips them up so that they stack into each other. A built-in counting mechanism triggers the machine to section off the required number of flats per package, then compress them. and seal them in plastic film to keep the dust out. The factory uses the identical molding process to make four cup drink carriers. These two go into an oven to dry out the pulp, but only for six minutes, half the time the filler flats need, because this product is smaller and lighter. Automated compactors stack the finished drink carriers. Then workers compress them for packing and shipping. The factory also makes disposable urinal bottles for hospitals. They add chemicals to the pulp to make the bottles liquid tight. These molds are three-dimensional and lined with mesh on the inside. When they submerge into the pulp vat, a vacuum sucks in the pulp. When they resurface, water jets rinse the excess pulp off the bottlenecks and the vacuum sucks out the water. A spiked conveyor belt transports the bottles to the drying oven. They dry at a lower temperature than the flats and drink carriers do, 176 degrees Celsius, and for a longer time, a half hour. This ensures the chemicals making the bottles liquid tight cure thoroughly. While urinal bottles can't be recycled for sanitary reasons, drink holders and filler flats are recyclable, making them extremely environmentally friendly. <laughs>